वेलकम स्टूडेंट दिस वीडियो इज ए कंटिन्यूएशन फॉर जिगजैग लेसन यूनिट टू सप्लीमेंट्री ओके सो फार वी हैव सीन दैट द बर्ड विच वॉज ब्रॉड बाई सोमो विच वॉज गिवन बाई सोमो नो बी सो ब्रॉड टू द होम यू नो इट क्रिएटेड लॉट ऑफ कमोशन एंड फिड अप विद दैट मिसिस कृष्णन यू नो शी कॉल्ड हर हजबेंड and she spoke that you know uh, i'm going crazy with the sound of zigzag snoring and plus not only zigzag and uh, uh, due to that she's getting many telephone calls and what kind of calls uh, not only that and also she lost her beautiful painting and her voice cracked that means she was about to you know cry or something because you know what happened mrs junjunwala the art critic you know um mrs krishnan is a painter and junjunwala is a art critic you know the people who assess all the arts and all and she is living upstairs she called and she had the cheek to telephone that she had the guts to ask me that you know she called and said you know could you please sing a little softly when you take uh, when you uh, take your singing lessons you know that means all the snoring sound she heard junjunwala heard she said that it is you who are singing please sing softly and you know think about mrs krishnan she was very annoyed first of all she is not ready to she was not ready to keep the bird at home and now that bird is no oh, very nuisance for her and she said please contact soma and find out what we should do so dr krishnan came home as fast as he could after he had left an email message for somu uh, asking him for clear instructions on how to stop zigzag from snoring you no know, he emailed somu and asked because uh, somu is not at the uh, country as of now he went to alaska and now when he came home he said don't worry he assured his downcast family somu will reply soon and we will discover that some ridiculously simple way to stop zigzag from snoring and you know he was giving hope to the family downcast family was totally uh, what was a downcast because uh, you know they are all or one or the other were disturbed by the snoring sound now waiting for the email six days passed six frantic days of checking that email day and night six torturous days of having that deafeningly loud kangaroo sound in their home most nerve wrackingly maya complained that she had heard a permanent rumbling sound in her ears even when she was miles away from home and that her ears ached all the time arvin confessed that for the first time in his life he was actually looking forward to going to school considering it was as calm as a monastery compared to their house mrs krishnan had lost interest in painting zigzag would sometimes wake up briefly when he wanted to eat some fruit and sometimes he would sit on the veranda looking sulky and bored as he stared at the sunset at marina beach the real view not the painting lying fallen in one corner ruined by streaks of hardening papaya zigzag never spoke to anyone though everyone tried several times and in several languages and to speak to him kindly he only slept and snored okay now all the six days they were waiting for some or the other way you know uh, mr mr krishna and dr krishna he was thinking that there may be some uh, way you know to stop this some ridiculously simple way to stop zigzag from snoring there should be some way to stop and they were expecting the email and the day and night for six days frantic days they checked and but no because they were tortured by deafeningly loud sound and it was no whack bracking and maya complained you know the young, uh, the doctor the um, you know the youngest one in the family uh, she said she complained that she, uh, hearing a zigzag sound continuously she was able to hear it even when she was miles away from the home she was you know so much possessed with that sound disturbed 
disturbing sound that she always can hear that and your her ears ache due to that and arvin confers you know the elder one the boy he said that for the first time in life he was actually looking forward to go to school so far he was not happy to go to school you know he want he hates going to school now he say he is looking forward to going to school because it was as calm as monastery monastery means you know usually the people who meditate you know suppose for uh, catholic monastery where all the fathers and uh, you know they will be there and you can't even hear a spoon dropping sound also you know they walk the way they walk the, the way they speak it will be very calm so you know he says at school you know school there will be lots of nice he say for school as of now it's uh, for me it's very calm as a monastery comparing to the house where the kangaroos the snoring sound of the bird on the time and mrs krishnan she lost her interest in painting and sometimes briefly you know for some short period zigzag would wake up and he eat some fruit and he used to sit in the veranda uh, looking sulky and bored you know this bird is not at all active it looks very bored he used to stare at the sunset at marina beach not the painting one you know that is ruined and that is in a corner with sticks of papaya you know it's hardening you know because it's getting dry and everyone tried several times talking to zigzag in various languages but you know he he'll not talk he will just sleep and snore okay now after waiting the sixth day the seventh day on the seventh day dr somu's email arrived it was as dr krishnan predicted ridiculously simple it read it read i have never heard zigzag snore in fact zigzag hardly ever sleeps love somu and a note if you are finding it difficult ask my cook visu to keep zigzag that does it said mr krishnan because he is saying that no uh, zigzag never sleeps hardly sleeps and mrs krishnan and you know she shouting that does it you know it sleeps fine visu i will not keep zigzag here another minute and now you know dr krishnan helpless he is saying come down dear dear i am living for my clinic now can't it wait till and mrs krishnan no no she says no it's now mrs krishnan was very adamant i have invited some friends and uh, uh, experts uh, experts to come home and choose my painting for the exhibition this feathered snoring monster will drive us all mad you know mrs krishnan say now it means now i don't want zigzag at home you know i don't want to keep it at home because some friends are coming to you know check my paintings and choose the best one to keep it for exhibition and i don't want this feathered snoring monster if it is we'll all be mad and okay so dr krishnan he don't have any other choice he said come on then zigzag dr krishnan called nervously wanting how we could locate somu's cook visu where he would be and er why don't you wait in the car zig uh, zigzag he suggested when they reach his clinic uh, his heart sinking at the thought of zigzag's ear shatteringly loud snore adding to the din of the sobs and shrieks produced by the tiny patients waiting for him now so mo you know he suggested that zigzag why don't you wait in the car you know i'll go to the clinic because the is clinic in the first paragraph i told it like chinese torture chamber you know all will be shouting with pain somebody will be nailed somebody will be uh, you know whipped with lashes someone will be hit with stick this that and all you know all will be shouting shrieking sobbing so that kind of his clinic is and adding and to that zigzag snore what will happen what kind of mess it would be 
and so he said you know all the tiny patients are waiting there you know you wait in the car so let me go but this bird the full name Ziggy Zaga king of the Tonga was not accustomed to being kept waiting and was already making his way to the clinic uh, where he perched himself on the nurse's reception table don't you dare sleep dr krishnan warned zigzag fiercely as he went towards his room he had hardly walked through the swinging half door that separated his clinic from the waiting room when he heard a strange voice you there in the blue t-shirt don't jump on the sofa and you in the red dress don't swing on the curtain it was zigzag's voice clear and commanding there was pin drop silence in the room as everyone waited open mouth for zigzag next sentence okay now see zigzag never waited for anyone he was asking zigzag to wait in the car but he already made his way to the clinic and he perched himself on the nurses reception table and then dr krishnan when he was about to enter his room he warned zigzag don't you dare sleep don't sleep no that will be loud snore sign don't sleep and fiercely angrily said and he went into and he entered his room and he had hardly walked through the swinging half door and that separated the clinic from the waiting room he heard a strange voice you there in the blue t-shirt don't jump on the sofa and you in the red dress don't swing on the curtain zigzag voice it was commanding it was commanding to the tiny patients over there and there was pin drop silence in the room as everyone waited open mouth and everyone was seeing a bird a talking bird and they were waited open mouth they were no open mouth waiting for zigzag next sentence ah what it will be saying next is it really the bird speaks or no, all were astonished dr krishnan was amazed gone was zigzag's bored and gumpy expression instead the bird looked happy and alert as it went about the job it had been trained for first with the african witch doctor and then with dr somu uh, doctor with, with dr somu dr krishnan's clinic usually a noisy sea of tears and tantrums was transformed into a calm orderly play uh, please as zigzag efficiently soothed the frightened patients called at the naughty ones and made the crying ones smile and if his yam digging song and recitation of french poetry reduced the children to helpless laughter instead of tears he didn't look as though he minded and best of all zigzag never slept or snored even for a second okay now there's a huge transformation in the bird you know dr krishnan was you know he was amazed and gone was exact bored and grumpy expression you know it looked very grumpy and it looked very bored you know it was gone and now the bird looked very ha happy and alert uh, it went out about the job it had trained for you know it was trained to be doctor's assistant you know like uh, we have compounder or you know nurse or someone you know who used to help doctor with everything so first he was with american witch doctor he did the same job and then with dr somu and usually doctor uh, krishnan's clinic i said you know there will be noisy sea of tears and tantrums and now it is totally transformed into a calm orderly place as ziggy used to soothe uh, the frightened patients you know the patients the children who used to be afraid you know it used to calm them and the naughty one he used to scold them and the crying one he used to make them smile and he used to sing song recite french poetry and uh, you know the instead of tears the children used to laugh now and everyone you know how uh, krishnan's family looked at uh, zig uh, zigzag it was not look like that and it never slept and it never snored not even for a second 
okay now in doctor's clinic never had a morning pass so quietly and peacefully dr krishnan when the last patient had left he called zigzag to his room zigzag flew in and sat on the table scratching the bird under its beak uh, dr krishnan sighed and said so who was right after all you are an absolute treasure i never realized what he meant when he called you a great help why didn't you tell me you would prefer to be at my clinic instead of snoring like that to show you were broad what do we do now no one wants you back at home now they want me to leave you with this who okay now you know after the day was over for uh, dr krishnan he called the bird and you know this was the what we say wonderful day for uh, dr krishnan because every day there will be crying you know screaming tears blood all ah, blah 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 but now this day was very cool you know it was very calm and people's children laughed there and also he was very happy he called zigzag zigzag to his room zigzag flew in he was scratching the bird's beak and then uh you know uh, he sighed and said so who was right you know you are a great treasure you are a great help uh, you know why didn't you tell me that you prefer to be at clinic uh, and instead of oh, you were snoring and you were very bored and what do we do now nobody wants you at home and they want me to leave you with visu and just then the telephone rang it was with uh, it was mrs krishnan sounding very pleased with you sir you know mrs junjunwala the art critic she chuckled laughed she doesn't want me to exhibit sunset at marina she has bought it for herself for rupees 5000 isn't that the painting the papaya fell on Yes Mrs Krishnan was laughing heartily now I left it in one corner and she chose it to uh, chose to buy it saying she loved my new technique of painting she simply adored those streak, streaky orangey beads she launched into great fresh gales of laughter by the way she said when she sobered down i don't think we were fair to zigzag shall we keep him with us at home just on trial for another week okay now great thing happened here uh, when they were you know when um, doctor was talking to uh, zigzag dr krishnan that time the telephone rang and it was mrs krishnan his wife and she was very happy she said zigzag the art critic you know what the one who lives at upstairs who mocked at her you know she want she doesn't want to exhibit marina sunset at marina she bought it for herself and that too for 5000 that incomplete paint and he asked you know that same painting where the papaya fell on yes and they laughed they said they were she was wondering what kind of painting was used and she was laughing at all and she said that we are not doing fair with zigzag zigzag helped us helped us with the painting so you know why can't we keep it for another week and sure agreed a delighted dr krishnan before he cleverly added and i could always take him to the clinic every morning so that you can paint in peace at home my boy he confided to zigzag after matters were satisfactorily settled giving the bird a toffee from his desk you have your own strange way of showing your genius a zigzag way i'd call it wouldn't you but ziggy zaga king of the chonga brought upon compliments as he was didn't bother to reply he just ate the toffee paper wrapper and all and then lowered one crinkly eyelid in a knowing wink okay now you know then when um she agreed to keep uh, the bird for another week mrs krishnan and saying that it was a trial and you know dr ashok you know he said okay okay but the thing is that i will take the bird to the clinic every morning so you can paint in peace at home he said because he you know he got very much you know you got a great help from zigzag and then he appreciated zigzag you know after everything all the matters were satisfactorily settled because now all you know his wife agreed to keep zigzag at home and zigzag is will help him to you know uh, in his work in at clinic and then he was appreciating the bird and he offered a toffee 
no, and that bird he took the toffee with the mouth and he said you have your own strange way you know people say that you are a treasure a great treasure and you help a lot but not in a usual way but you help in a zigzag way by throwing the papaya on the painting and making it a genius art a masterpiece and snoring at home so that people will dump the bird at clinic and helping it a lot so he will never work in a straight way but he will help people in zigzag way you know if you call someone and for help instead of coming straight if they go here there here there and then help it is called zigzag way and that way help them in a great mad way you know it was in a really a genius way and that is zigzag way and ziggy zoga you know he was brought up on compliments so he didn't bother to reply he was very proud he took the toffee along with the paper and then he lowered one crinkly eyelid in a knowing wink yeah that is the zigzag way he used to help people with okay that's about this lesson now coming back to you know in the beginning of the lesson in the first part i said i gave you a task you know to identify uh, something you know mm, where is that yeah here it is yeah I gave this uh, what we say sentence jumble sentence and I ask you to frame it and then come up with the answer the students who come up with the answer come in the uh, comment box okay now you know first the zigzag how it looks it was not really like that mm but you know that's how you know we should not go judge a book by its cover you no know, it may look ugly and all but you know it has its own way of helping things can look different from the way they really are appearances can be deceptive that is we look at something and we look we observe something and we come to a conclusion that should not be you know things can be different mm, doctors ashok's family <coughs> dr somu said that it's a uh, this bird is a great help and it's a treasure and people will love this bird but the way the bird re, you know was at the home nobody liked it and hall everyone hated the bird and nobody want to keep that but in the end it works exact many way and really the bird was a treasure and it helped in all the way so that's what you know appearances can be deceptive never judge a book by its cover don't look at someone and jump to conclusion no things may look like something but uh, that not exactly like and for this i would like to share a short story you know there was a uh, two partners you know who worked uh, who owned a office and both the partner you know had equal share and there was one pune you know who was working in that office and used to come from nearby slums so this those partner you know one day they, they kept no rupees um, 50000 at the cupboard and the key was with both the partners one partner was very sincere and the other partner you know was uh, not so sincere you now he used to spend lots of money in the club you know while playing cards he used to um, spend lots of money you know he used to gamble so one morning the sincere one the first partner he came to the office he opened the cupboard the 5000 which was kept the last day was missing so what he did he doubted the pune who used to come in the nearby slums and he said you know most of the people in the slums are you know criminals they used to steal they used to lie and also you have taken the money but the 
uh, pune he said no he denied he said no and you know then the partner threatened he said you won't um, you know accept and you don't won't confess so he called the police and made him arrested when the police arrested him the other partner entered and he said why the police are at office and why they took uh, the pun and he said uh, the partner replied the first one he replied he took 50000 he stole 50000 from our cupboard and he said no how do you know that he stole so it's missing and the partner said i took the money yesterday after the office was locked i was playing card in the club which is nearby the office and it was a bad day for me no oh, i had bad luck i spent all the money i need more money so i came i took 50000 you know i have a equal share on that money and then think about the first partner how will he respond you know he will feel very bad because you know he made an innocent man he blamed him and he punished him without properly examining so that's why it is said we should not judge a book by its cover and appearances can be deceptive and you know things can look different from the way they really are so we should wait and study before we jump into conclusion you know we'll be at the end of the day we will be a fool if we didn't examine properly the situation and just we uh, decide by appearance so you know that's what we should not focus on much on or waste bother much upon our appearance but you no know, that's not the real stuff or oh, that's what the lesson from zigzag a lesson for life we can learn so students um, thank you and if you have any doubt you know you may comment me or you may ask your teacher and uh, you no know, next uh, you know what which all lessons you need you just comment in the comment box and uh, um help uh, Uh, me by sharing this video to your with your friends and uh, you know teachers you can uh, share this video to the other teachers and all and if you have any suggestion suggestion or anything you may contact me okay thank you have a good day enjoy learning